automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another market update, October 2019. You know, we're continuing to follow battery metals, nickel and cobalt, and both metals are in demand with the push for electric vehicles all throughout the world. But first, if you are new to this channel or have not already done so, please do subscribe, click on the bell to be notified on new updates, and give us a thumbs up if we're adding some sort of value to your investment decisions. Now, getting back to our two favorite metals, nickel is trying to work its way back to the $18,000 per ton level, while cobalt is still down from the beginning of the year and admittedly seems to be struggling. Nickel and cobalt are two key metals in the makeup of electric vehicle batteries and we are seeing more battery news and more news about chargers as you'll see here. From CNBC.com, first gas station in America to ditch oil for 100% electric vehicle charging opens in Maryland. The first gas station in the U.S. that has been completely transitioned from a petroleum station to exclusively charging EVs opened in Tacoma Park, Maryland. RS Automotives, the local gas station, has been around since 1958. The Peswar Zoli, owner of the station since 1997, said he was already unhappy with the way oil and gasoline companies structure contracts, such as limiting the use of multiple suppliers, including clauses that extend contracts when a certain volume of sales is not met, and limiting maintenance support. These business factors already were pushing him to consider other options. A nudge from his daughter was the final step in convincing Dolly to make the switch to EV charging. My daughter, who is 17, she is the one who convinced me after I told her that I was going to talk to the Electric Vehicle Institute guys. A public works manager for the city of Tacoma Park, Maryland, first suggested to Dolly a conversation with the Electric Vehicle Institute. When he told his daughter about the idea, she said, Dad, that's a real good suggestion. Now, that's just one gas station in making the crossover to electric chargers. But how about a whole country? From electric.co, gas pumps are disappearing in Norway as electric cars are taking over. Norway is adopting electric cars faster than any other country and it is already affecting gas stations. Some are disappearing and others are slowly reducing their capacity. The writing is on the wall. Electric cars are taking over. Gas stations and convenience stores that rely on drivers coming in for gas to sell other things are going to have to change their business model. Last month, we reported on a gas station in the U.S. that removed its gas pumps to make space for electric car charging stations. It was surprising to hear about that happening in the U.S., but it is apparently a more common phenomenon in Norway. The Circle K at Alexander Keelan's place in Oslo also replaced all its gas pumps with electric car chargers last month. We have never done this before. There are fierce battles over the square meters at gas stations, and the gas pumps still deliver the core products and drive most of the traffic to our stations. Over 50% of new car sales in Norway are now electric and it's already affecting demand for gas and diesel. More companies see how the demand for chargers are going to pay off as more and more adoption continues to creep into our towns and cities. One of the forerunners, Tesla, has arguably some of the fastest chargers out there and in combination with gas stations bringing in more chargers and Tesla having some of the better and cheaper batteries, 
Tesla is seeing a gold mine of opportunities. From MarketWatch.com, this could be the next gold mine for Tesla and other electric vehicles. Charging stations will outnumber gas stations and batteries will be better and cheaper. When people think about charging electric cars, the first thought that comes to mind is, so you are going to put charging stations at gas stations. There will be long lines of people waiting to charge their cars since it takes much longer to charge an electric car than to fill a car with gas. It will never work. Capitalism will take care of building out the charging infrastructure. I guesstimate that it costs about $8 to fully charge my Tesla Model 3 at home and $18 at the Tesla supercharger. My local utility charges $0.11 cents per kilowatt and Tesla charges $0.24. Cents. Thus, Tesla is making a 55% gross margin or about $10 on every Model 3 customer who fills up. Of course, Tesla is charging $0.24 cents per kilowatt because it wants us to use its superchargers only when we really need them. So that 55% gross margin is not sustainable and will decline. My prediction, at some point there will be a charging station mini bubble as companies raise capital and do a land grab. Grocery stores will use charging stations to attract customers. Charging stations will be in all parking lots. From restaurants to office buildings, EV charging will be a gold rush, while gas stations will be just another relic of a bygone age like phone booths and cassette tapes. Future EV batteries will have greater range, last longer, and charge faster. The transition from internal combustion engine, ICE cars, to electric vehicles is a bit like the transition our ancestors went through when society switched from horses to gasoline-powered cars. At first, people wondered how would they feed those cars or whether they would have decent roads to actually drive anywhere and whether cars would be crashing into pedestrians and each other. The shift from horses to cars required a completely new paradigm. Staying with Tesla and more specifically their batteries, Tesla is getting close to a, if you can believe this, a battery that will last a million miles. From Wired.com, Tesla may soon have a battery that can last a million miles. Elon Musk promised Tesla would soon have a million mile battery, more than double what drivers can expect today. A new paper suggests he wasn't exaggerating. Last April, Elon Musk promised that Tesla would soon be able to power its electric cars for more than one million miles over the course of their lifespan. At the time, the claim seemed a bit much. That's more than double the mileage Tesla owners can expect to get out of their car's current battery pack, which are already well beyond the operational range of most other EV batteries. It just didn't seem real, except now it appears that it is. Earlier this month, a group of battery researchers at Dalhousie University, which has an exclusive agreement with Tesla, published a paper in the Journal of the Electrochemical Society describing a lithium-ion battery that should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1 million miles while losing less than 10% of its energy capacity during its lifetime. Led by physicist Jeff Don, one of the world's foremost lithium-ion researchers, the Dalhousie Group showed that its battery significantly outperforms any similar lithium-ion battery previously reported. They noted their battery could be especially useful for self-driving robo-taxis and long-haul electric trucks, two products Tesla is developing. What's interesting, though, is that the authors don't herald the results as a breakthrough. Rather, they present it as a benchmark for other battery researchers, and they don't skimp on the specifics. Full details of these cells, including electrode compositions, electrode loadings, electrolyte compositions, additives used, etc., have been provided. Don and his colleagues wrote in the paper, this has been done so so that others can recreate these cells and use them as benchmarks for their own R&D efforts. 
Within the EV industry, battery chemistries are a closely guarded secret. So why would Don's research group, which signed its exclusive partnership with Tesla in 2016, give away the recipe for such a seemingly singular battery? According to a former member of Don's team, the likely answer is that Tesla already has at least one proprietary battery chemistry that outperforms what's described in the benchmark paper. Indeed, shortly after the paper came out, Tesla received a patent for a lithium-ion battery that is remarkably similar to the one described in the paper. Don, who declined to comment for this article, is listed as one of its investors. The lithium-ion batteries described in the paper use lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt oxide, or NMC, for the battery's positive electrode, or cathode, and artificial graphite for its negative electrode, or anode. The electrolyte, which ferries lithium ions between the electrode terminals, consists of a lithium salt blended with other compounds. NMC graphite chemistries have long been known to increase the energy density and lifespan of lithium ion batteries. Almost all electric cars, including the Nissan Leaf and Chevy Bolt, use NMC chemistries in their batteries but notably not Tesla. The blend of electrolyte and additives is what ends up being the subject of trade secrets. But even those materials as described in the paper were well known in the industry. In other words, says Matt Lacey, a lithium ion battery expert at the Scania Group who was not involved in the research, there is nothing in the secret sauce that was a secret. So many of you know by now that there is indeed an electric vehicle revolution happening all over the globe. And as mentioned, it's the battery that is quietly leading this revolution. These batteries are going to allow a big change in the way we live in the years ahead. Power portability is such a huge thing now. And as such, three men were recently awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their role in developing the lithium-ion battery and creating a rechargeable world. From BNEF.com, how a battery can lead a quiet revolution. Last week, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to John Goodenow, Stanley Whittingham, and Akira Yoshino for their work developing the lithium-ion battery. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, in announcing the award, said the three men created a rechargeable world. The ubiquitous battery is now found in items as varied as hearing aids and power grids. It is a testament not just to technological revolutions, but also to the power of advancements in performance and decreases in cost. Whittingham began working on the lithium-ion battery in an ExxonMobil core laboratory in the 70s when it was being considered for automotive applications. The lithium-ion battery wasn't a fit for cars then, but research and development continued and the technology improved to the point that it became a viable power source in search of an application. But it was Sony Core, not ExxonMobil, that would introduce the first lithium-ion battery for consumers, the new device in need of a suitable power source, the handheld 8mm camcorder. In 1995, camcorders created the biggest source of demand for lithium-ion batteries, and by 2000, laptops had become the biggest driver of demand. By 2005, it was feature phones. By 2010, the smartphone was the biggest source of demand for lithium-ion batteries. As this rather dramatic chart shows, passenger electric vehicles have vaulted past consumer electronics to become the single biggest source of demand for lithium-ion batteries less than 15 years after Martin Eberhard built the first Tesla Roadster battery pack from 6,831 of the lithium-ion cells used in laptop computers. The lithium ion battery has come a long way in other ways too. Battery costs have come down by more than 80% in nine years. And finally, as we mentioned earlier, electric vehicle adoption is creeping into our towns and cities. And it's not just, let's say, our neighbor who one day shows up pulling into his garage with an electric vehicle. 
its now entire taxi fleets and in diverse countries such as Indonesia. From JakartaGlobe.id, Bluebird Taxi introduces Indonesia's first fleet of electric taxis. The Bluebird Group, Indonesia's largest taxi operator, has added two new electric vehicle models to its fleet in the greater Jakarta area. It introduced 25 Chinese-made BYD E6 all-electric compact multi-purpose vehicles, which will operate as regular Bluebird taxis, and five Tesla Model X 75D midsize all-electric luxury sport utility vehicles for its upmarket Silverbird service. The group plans to increase its electric vehicle fleet to 200 by next year as it seeks to contribute to efforts to improve air quality in the capital. It has calculated that its adoption of electric vehicles can eliminate 434, 95 kilograms of carbon dioxide and save 1.89 million liters of fuel per year. The taxi company established in 1976 has installed 11 charging stations at its headquarters in Mampang, South Jakarta. These will not be available to the public. The company's drivers spend on average 100,000 rupee or $7 of fuel per day, while it currently only costs about 30,000 for a full battery charge, which gives the e taxis an equivalent range of 400 kilometers. Batteries, chargers, they continue to get stronger, cheaper, and faster. You know, sometimes we don't think things are significant until, well, they become significant and we've been watching the electric vehicle revolution unfold and the world has made up their mind and automakers and technology are responding to meet the world's preferences. As they progress forward with newer, stronger, cheaper batteries, two metals, nickel and cobalt, are going to continue to be stressed with an overwhelming demand and miners and automakers are already telling us, if not warning us, about the ever-tightening supply. And although this is not financial investment advice, the opportunities for an electric vehicle play are out there, particularly for nickel and cobalt. That's it for this month's market update. Take care, everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by Silver Bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your Silver Bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking Sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg/ev and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.